Hey everyone, Alicia here in the D-Hard House. This is going to be my first ever craft along video where I'm going to take you through some kind of craft. So I am going to try hand carding wool for the first time ever. So oh, I'm a pretty beginner spinner when it comes to spinning fiber into wool and I'm really enjoying the experience so far. I have successfully spun yarn on a drop spindle and on a spinning wheel. Now successfully spun yarn, I have created yarn. It is not in any way commercial grade, but that's part of the beauty of hand spun yarn. So, I have not really done any sort of fiber prep before, and that's where you prepare the fiber before spinning it. So what I have done is purchased uh, wool roving, uh, dyed by indie dyers uh, that I've purchased through Etsy or their um, websites that these uh, indie dyers host themselves. Uh, anyway, and what I've done is I've taken that roving and I just spin it up um, the way it is when it gets to my door. So what I'm going to do is take some of that wool roving that I've purchased and I'm actually going to prepare it using hand cards. Yes, it's fascinating Marjorie, fascinating. So. <laughs> That explains why we are in the kitchen slash laundry room today, uh, because I need a nice table, a nice surface to, to work with. Uh, so what I'm going to do is angle the camera down when it comes to that point in the video, and I uh, will record myself doing fiber prep. Now, what's going to be kind of fun and interesting about this is, like I said, this is my very first time ever using hand cards. Ever. Okay, so here's what I have to work with. I have some fiber, I have hand cards, and I have some knitting, straight knitting needles, because um, I couldn't find any dowels that will hopefully help me roll the fiber off of the cards. Okay, so the fiber that I'm working with is from Blue Mule Farm. And I believe I picked this up at uh, Stitches Texas when they were still coming to Texas. And this is, the colorway is called Bluebird and it's a 19.5 micron merino which means something to someone, I'm sure, <laughs> and it's approximately four ounces. So I picked this up at a yarn and fiber show, and the, the colors are really pretty, and I'm excited to see this spun up. The problem is I've squished it into my storage on my shelves, and this fiber seems really matted down. So what I want to do is card this fiber out, add some more air to it, fluff it up, and just make it a lot easier to spin. So the hand cards that I'm using are from Howard Brush Company. And I ordered these off of Etsy. If you search for Howard Brush Company on Etsy, you will find that they sell a lot of uh, fiber prep tools that are seconds and that means that there's technically something wrong with them they didn't come out perfectly so this pair that i have right here is a second and as far as i can tell there is absolutely nothing wrong with them so i got these at a really reasonable price and um i've never used them so i'm going to try that out today and then like i said i just have a pair of uh, bamboo knitting needles uh, to help me roll the fiber uh, when I take it off the cards I would like to make some little roll legs.
So what I'm going to do is catch the end of this fiber on the little tines here. And I'm not going to load this too heavily. So my first card is loaded, and then I'm going to take my second card, and I'm just going to catch my fibers, and slowly transfer them over. And this is pretty awkward at first. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to switch. <laughs> Okay, now how do I get this all onto one? This is awkward. Okay. Let's go this way. Yeah. Ooh, that's cool. Oh my gosh. It is so fluffy. Oh man, that's cool. Okay, so I didn't put a lot of fiber in here, so it's not like... Oh my gosh, look at look at how fluffy and airy that is. That is insane. That's really cool. Oh man. <laughs> okay. So let's try this again.
little better. It's still pretty bunched up though, like right in here. It's still pretty bunched up. But it is a lot fluffier than before. Oh, so I wonder. Hmm. This thing is impossible. Look at this. Oh my god, how long is this staple? I cannot, I cannot break this. Ugh. There's still a little fuzzy, fuzzy bits on there. But you guys, look at that. Okay, I'm getting better. Okay, let me try using the knitting needles this time to roll. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh. Oh man, you guys, that looks really cool. <laughs> Okay, that is awesome. Can you guys see that like gradient that's going on in there? Oh, that's really cool. Okay, I am totally gonna keep going.
We're gonna keep going. Yep. Careful, it's pokey. Okay, so I've had six goes so far. I've got six Rolex sitting over there, and so far I'm really, really enjoying this. Um, I can definitely tell a huge difference in the fiber that um, it's much more airy, it's easier to pull apart, like it, 100 times easier to pull apart than in the um, than in the original form. Um, however, I do feel like taking it from here and loading it directly onto the carter is a huge pain because of how matted down this fiber is. But I'm willing to muddle through because spinning from these Rolex I'm anticipating is going to be amazing. So I'm going to keep going with my hand carding and I hope that my Rolex keep looking better and better as I go because um, it's hit or miss right now. <laughs> but like I said, I'm having lots of fun. So I'm going to keep going and I'll check back in with you in a little bit. So I'm noticing that because I'm pulling so hard on that fiber to load it on my hand cards that I'm pretty sure some of these teeth um, up here on this edge, which is where I'm putting the most force, uh, it looks like they're getting bent back uh, the way they're not supposed to be facing. So, what I'm going to do now, uh, because I don't want to break these hand cards, <laughs> is um, I'm trying my darndest to rip, rip <laughs> this fiber up into smaller sections 
so it's easier to load my hand carter and I'm not going to be pulling on the teeth. Um, it'll also be nice that I'll be able to control the color a little bit more um, because what's happening uh, with the hand cards is it's blending the colors together, which is part of the reason for using hand cards but I don't want the colors to blend that much together. I still want, you know, dark blue and some of the red to be showing up and popping out uh, when I do spin this into fiber. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to break the big braid up into smaller pieces so it's easier to load my hand cards. got the more neutral mostly purple kind of sections and the more reddish and then it looks like there was a little bit of yellow in there which is kind of cool so now I'm just going to you know randomly put these on here no rhyme or reason and uh, I'm just going to keep practicing using my hand carters. how many times I was switching the fiber from Carter to Carter uh, and then I was counting and I was doing three switches so I'd load it on I'd switch it over I'd switch it back and then I'd switch it one more time uh, but that is blending the fiber quite a lot and so I think I'm gonna shoot for two passes so I'm gonna load the fiber on and exchange it over to one carter and then exchange it back and then roll it up because um, I don't need especially with this pre prep <laughs> I've already spread out the fibers a lot uh, so I don't think I need as many passes and like I said I don't want the colors to blend together too much because with red and red and blue uh, it's just gonna look like purple fiber and I still want it to have some variation in it. So uh, that's what I'm gonna shoot for.
Okay guys, I have finished making all of my little Rolex. The entire four ounce braid is sitting right here on the table. And I've lined up my Rolex in order from the first one that I made right here in the bottom left hand corner over to uh, the very last one that I made. <laughs> So it was really cool to split up the braid in the smaller sections because then I was able to play around with color on the Rolex uh, and have a lot more control over that. Uh, when I was just putting it on randomly, uh, you can see that it blended the colors together quite a lot. Also, I did more passes on the hand carter here and I did less passes back here so you can see the color is still pretty distinct versus really blended together so I'm super happy with the result and I can't wait to spin these up later